There's a 50-50 chance ain't none of y'all ever seen this movie. It's Drewski McGillicuddy's Creep Movie Review. Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy, and that's right, I was scrolling through Amazon Prime and I come across a movie that I remember having in my top 10 horror films you've probably never heard of video that I did way back when, probably... It was a second actual video on this channel, aside from some stuff that is irrelevant. Uh, but yeah, I, I talked briefly about this movie. It's one of my most viewed videos on the channel, uh, but maybe everybody's forgotten, and I had forgotten, so I decided to refresh my memory, and since I only own the lousy DVD copy, I decided to watch it in full HD on Amazon Prime, and that is Creep. From 2004, did I say that yet? And this movie's directed by somebody whose name I can remember uh, because he's got some gems under his belt already. And if you haven't heard of Christopher Smith, uh, look him up on IMDb and then you know uh, seek out his filmography uh, because he's made some pretty decent, underrated, lesser-known horror films. One of them being Triangle, starring Melissa George. We will get to that movie eventually. I also I'm pretty sure I reviewed one of his other movies on my channel, Severance, way back when. Uh, he directed that. But anyway, Creep is uh, about some people who get trapped in the subway. I'll just start from the beginning. There's these guys. They're working on the sewer. They're walking around in the dark. It's creepy. It's nasty. They're in the sewer. Uh, they're looking at this clogged drain. There's some nasty stuff in there, you know, stuff people flush down the toilet that they're not supposed to. Uh, and then all of a sudden they start hearing noises. There's a, a tunnel uh, that wasn't there before. And the guy's been working there for 20 years. He said, I've never seen this tunnel. Let's, uh, let's go explore it. That's, you know, usually a good idea. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, it's, it wasn't a good idea is basically what I'm getting, I'm getting at. Uh, so then we go to this fancy party. There's this girl, Kate, and this guy's kind of, you know, got his eye on her. He's, you know, harassing her all night, kind of like, you know, pushing, pushing, you know, pushing the boundaries of uh, flirting and harassment. Uh, anyway, so later on that night, she leaves the party and she goes uh, and she's trying to get on the subway, uh, but for some reason, the thingy's not doing something right. Nobody will help her out and get in a pass. And then she falls asleep on a bench. And when she wakes up, she's locked inside the subway. That's scary enough on its own. Waking up somewhere where, you know, there's nobody around. And it's kind of creepy down there because of the lighting situation. Is another thing. Uh, this movie has some really nice lighting and cinematography. I like the greenish, bluish type filter that they used. Uh... Because the movie's got a really nice, distinct horror film look to it. Like a, a modern horror film look to it. Okay? So anyway, she realizes she's trapped down in the subway. And she's walking around trying to figure out how the hell she's going to get out of there. And she gets on the subway car to see if there's anybody in there that can help her. And nope. It's the guy from the party and his name's Guy. So the guy starts telling her, hey, uh... Why don't you take that dress off? And she's like, come on, are you joking? You're joking, right? And he pulls his dick out, and he says, well, what do you think of this? She said, well, it looks like a penis, but smaller. And I thought that was hilarious. Uh, but he didn't find it to be too funny, so he attacks her, and he attempts to, you know, you know, what people do when they do things. When uh, they attack. So in the midst of this attack, he's pulled off of her by some unseen force, uh, and dragged off the subway cart. And then, oddly enough, even though the guy just tried to rape her, uh, she seems like she's concerned for his general well-being. So she goes, Guy, are you okay? And she goes looking for him, and then she realizes uh, something just ain't right, and she needs to get the fuck up out of there. But she can't get the fuck up out of there because she's in the subway, and she's locked, and she don't know her way around. Luckily, she happens across this homeless couple and their little dog. 
and you know they're they're they're, they're kind of junkies or whatever. And she she goes in, she wakes them up, uh, and he's like, "What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck?" And she's like, "I'm the one that you know gave you because she ended up buying the pass from the homeless person so that she could get on the subway before she fell asleep." But that's all beside the point. Uh, they wake her up and. They say, you know, can you help me? And she's like, well, you can stay here if you don't mind the habit because I guess they're about to get all messed up on the junk. Uh, but anyway, he tells her, I need, I need you to take me to, like, the security guard or something because my friend's injured, uh, possibly dead. And then they go down and they're trying to talk to the security guard, but uh, he's kind of being a dick. And then they're just trapped. And then there's this thing. There's this thing that looks like, and what I am pretty sure is an aborted fetus that survived being aborted and then grew up into a full-grown man. And what leads me to believe this is, you know, as they're searching these tubway tu subway tunnels, they come across this room, and it looks like a, like an emergency room, something like an operating room or something like that. It's got like the table with the gurney or the uh, whatever them things are, uh, and all kinds of medical equipment. And then there's uh, jars with little baby fetuses in them, uh, and like little cribs and stuff. And then you see a picture of this small child that looks like there's something wrong with them, and that's kind of what the thing looks like. Uh, it looks like there's something wrong with it. Turns out his name is Craig. So Craig is apparently this guy who did underground abortions and when he aborted Craig, Craig survived the abortion and so he, instead of putting him in a jar and preserving him, uh, he raised him to be his own. But we don't really know what happened after that other than the fact that we see a picture of him standing with this doctor and, you know, all I'm doing is putting two and two together. So basically, uh, Kate happens across uh, one of the guys from the beginning of the movie that were down in the sewer and then they're all caged in in this thing and you know they got to plan their escape and then once they escape you know it's how do we get out of here and you know that's the rest of the movie and I'm going to leave it up to you to go watch it and see what happens but what I do want to talk about is the ending because the ending's kind of funny because uh, at the beginning of the movie she's at the party and she goes over to the ATM to get some money out. And there's a guy asking her for some change. And she says, uh, this is an ATM. This machine doesn't dispense change. If you want change, maybe go stand by a phone booth. Fucking bitch. Anyway, so, uh... <laughs> not saying she survives the movie or anything, but at the end of the movie, uh, she's sitting there on the floor of the subway tunnel and I guess it's the next morning and people in business suits start showing up and she's laying there looking all pitiful the dog comes up and lays on her and this guy in a business suit reaches into his pocket goes and puts 50 cents well with I don't know it's a British movie or it's Australian I don't know it said UK uh, film embassy or some shit like that but they sound like they might be Australian. But I don't I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not cultured. Anyway, he puts 50 cents or what looks like two coins about the size of a quarter. He puts them down next to her and then he goes and walks farther away than he was when he originally walked in and saw her sitting there all pitiful. And I thought that was uh, kind of hilarious. It's like, uh, you know, you started out, you're this hoity-toity bitch. Uh, and now you're still a hoity-toity bitch, uh, but you look like you're homeless. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Idea. That's the other thing. This creature, not only does he look really interesting, uh, he sounds interesting. And whoever played the creep in this movie, or Craig, uh, he is very talented with his body language and his mannerisms and like the, the facial expressions he makes and the sounds that he makes and honestly this is basically where I got inspiration for my character at the haunted house like the originally because this is kind of what I used to do I used to not be very vocal I didn't say things I made 
kind of weird noises at people and stuff. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've drawn inspiration from a lot of things over the years, but this is definitely one of them. That's why my character's name is The Creep, other than the fact that I, uh, I creep up behind you. Uh, but yeah, if I were to, you know... God damn it. I was trying to come up with, uh, like, a fancy uh, rating to put on this. Uh, like, it's a damn fine horror film. Actually, you know what? It's a damn fine horror film. That's good enough for me. That's practically a 9 out of 10, everybody. So if you haven't seen Creep from 2004, it is streaming now on Amazon Prime. So you have no excuse unless you don't have Amazon Prime, which I don't see why you wouldn't have Amazon Prime. Because you get free shipping on all your orders. Not that I fucking buy stuff off of Amazon Prime. Because where's the fucking fun in that? Anyway, make sure that if you liked this video... You let me know in the comments or just click the like button if you're not one of those commenter peoples. There's also the subscribe button and in the case I'm going to forget, follow me on the socials. There's other buttons, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Uh, and Devon Graham, if you're watching this, just fucking watch it on Prime. You said you have it. Don't fucking waste your goddamn time ordering it in the mail waiting for it to arrive, even though it belongs in your collection.